Uh, good morning, and the weather is not like that at my place right now. However, it's a lovely and sunny, lovely midwinter's day when you think about it. Um, I had a few remarks, people uh, saying I shouldn't be giving uh, information on the stocks and shares. I'll just uh, click on to today's uh, stocks and shares. Um, these are most of the shares I hold, and I've only got to point you to all the green, and you can see uh, what's happening for me. And so um, I'm not doing too badly, but I'm not a stock advisor. I'm playing the game for myself and my superannuation fund. Now, so there are lots of good investments there. And uh, well, let's just switch to a bad investment. OK, I'm looking at dynamic odds and here you can see my ratings, provided you subscribe to them. Um, and in this first race, we've got number two Kodai, which we've rated even money. It's backed in from uh, $1.40 into $1.30 and have a look at that, it's run second. Now the reason I'm showing you this is because one of the rules I have in place is I don't bet in fields of less than six. And you can see the reason why anything can happen. In this case, uh, the second favourite got up, that was kick-ons. But uh, this runner at $1.30, it's just too much of a risk. Uh, ironically, if you backed it for a place, have a look at the crazy dividends here. It actually paid $1.30 for the place on UBET and $1.60 on New South Wales tab for running second in a uh, race of less than eight runners. It's really weird. That's what I'm saying. They're small fields. You just can't pick them. So that's the lesson for today. And I uh, do hope that we get some racing in this weekend. It's not looking great because uh, we've got wet tracks just about everywhere. Anyway, all the best and thanks for